coming up next, it's a UFC featherweight division fight. There is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's gonna try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling is takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tail of the tape now for this featherweight fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with similar height and some differences in reach. And now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds. Fighting out of Hong Kong, Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, through the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, come out fighting. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. You ready? You ready? Well, the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway, and it'll be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definite striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. I mean, can you imagine having a reach advantage like this? What a luxury. It's a luxury. I've never had one over the course of my entire career. But fighting guys that are taller, you struggle whenever they are very aware of such a massive advantage. This guy is going to try and use this tonight. Block that kick to the body. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the top. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Nice connection on the counter punch there, and 
Oftentimes, DC, it can be easier to be a counter-striker when you have such a pronounced edge and reach. Defense. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Just out of range with that right hand. Take him down. Just over two minutes, round one. Oh, left hook to the head is cut. Big head kick. Nice punch here. Seconds remain in the round. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Wow, what a head kick! Trying to establish that jab once again. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kick. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Lee gets touched by that kick there. They continue to exchange. Trying to double up on that jab. Circling to his right. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Connects with the right. He's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. Big ball from punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Lee gets hit by that kick to the body. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. with that jab attempt there. That one stuck in. Nice play. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Just out of the range with that right hand. Big kick land. Big body kick. Oh, and he can 
connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. And they separate. Final seconds here of round two. And that's the end of round number two. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Ooh, head kick lands and is hurt. Oh, there's the head kick. It's blocked. And that one was heavy. Yes. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. And he landed the right hand there. Bone on bone as the head kick lands flush. He better get those hands up or he's gonna put him to sleep. Great punch. Oh, a significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponent. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Lee gets stung by that leg kick. Just misses with the jab. Oh, huge block! How good is that right hand? Put your hands up higher. Come on. Lee going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Nice kick. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Your head's moving. 20 seconds to go. Ooh, what a punch. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. Okay. More of the same. You are controlling the entire fight. Stay sharp. Don't get relaxed. So wherever we're at. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides. Really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did. And they both found success over the course of that round. All right, next round is now underway. Previous Ready? round, not necessarily Ready? a tough act to follow. Pretty so good, not good. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Oh, nice right hand. Nice. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Yeah. 
There's the kick, it's blocked. Watch knees to the body. Beautiful kick. Nice body kick. Ooh, big shot, man. His opponent still stands. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Head kick lands. Just a slip there. Can't take many of those, you better check. Got clip with the right hand. Well, no problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Shot attempt to the head here. Instead, it's blocked by Lee. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. Take him down. Oh, just misses with the kick. Switching stances here. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Under three minutes to decide this one. Oh, big head kick land. That's a big strike right there. Pretty good right hand. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. Big kick land. Well, 
you're not winning a fight necessarily when you're controlling the center of the octagon, but that's what he's trying to do, keep his opponent on the outside, and he has done just that. He has done a fantastic job of doing that because he's setting traps. As his opponent steps left, he just steps to the left. As his opponent goes right, he goes right. He does not follow. He cuts him off, trying to beat his opponent to where he's going before he gets there. This man understands foot movement. He understands traps. It's great to see someone with that type of knowledge of cornering his opponents. 30 seconds to go here. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. All right, it looks like the official decision is in. Yes, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest, 50-45. Play the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him at our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted to finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you control, and that's fight to the best of your ability. He did exactly that tonight.